What's up, cosmonauts? I'm Trendy, and this is my good... Why does it say Cosmosis, Clay? I don't even know, dude. Who the fuck did that? I, don't I didn't know. write that. Cosmosis, Clay. Why aren't you on camera, dude? right now. Oh, dude. I got stung by a bee, and like my eyes are all fucked up. I can't Shut be on up. camera this time. Shut up, dude. Just let me <laughs> yeah, see. Come on bro. camera. Show the viewer. Let's see what you look like. <laughs> oh god yeah dude oh, i got shit. a bad headache dude <laughs> yeah for the viewer hurt. clay's uh messing around with some some snapshot snapshots <laughs> i sorry. think that's the coolest snapchat thing ever dude. filter type thing snapchat things. like you can download this thing called snap camera i think i talked about it last time and it's it's free software for your computer, and you basically just select that instead of your camera, and it mm-hmm. goes through that software, and you just pick, uh, you know, it's easy to use, and it's like, wow, this is free, like that's cool. I didn't, I had no idea that Snapchat, um, you know, provided that kind of service. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, we we both appreciate. I like that it. you changed your background. What the yeah, hell I was trying to. I don't know. I'm tired. I like mine. I really like mine. Uh, I'm keeping it for now. I was actually thinking about like switching this over to work as well, like sending it to my work email and popping this on that one and being like, "What up?" Because right now <laughs> I work remember? like a waterfall, and they always make fun mm. of me. I'm like, "You guys are weird." Do you remember what it was? What before? Mine, yeah. Shit, before it was just like a cosmos symbol, right? Right. Yeah, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the Cosmos symbol. I like this one. It uh, goes with the background we have. Yeah. It might I be like clashing it. a little too much, but I'm just going to just play with it for a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Sorry. I got a weird message. Um, yeah. yeah. So this episode is just going to be just a kick it chill episode. We're both extremely tired. I know people don't want to hear about us bitching, but it's been a long week. <laughs> we didn't bring a whole lot to the table. Not to say that there's a whole lot going on. There were probably more things going on last week when we had all of our special guests um, than there were going on this week. So, yeah, I, re- I did read up on the Evmos proposal. So I'm going to just talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Well, do your thing, man. Do the your market recap. And the market is going crazy. But, and it's stupid because every time I say this, it's the truth, though. The market is always like on a teetering point where like technical analysis wise, it always looks like it could do one or the other. Like my friend that does hardcore technical analysis, he's like, man, I keep going back and forth from bullish to 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 bearish. But overall, I mean, <laughs> we still believe that it's it's going to be like a another like 50 percent down from here and what it kind of feels like is that like people like i don't know if this is true but i mean this is kind of like how i feel that like everybody knows it's going to be 50 percent down from here and they're like well what are the price what are the what are the prices what do we believe the price of the asset should be like you know pumped up 50 percent. so it, it, this would make perfect sense like where where we believe cosmos is going to hit like i believe it's going to be about 450 to five dollars and he thinks it could be all the way down to like three dollars and ninety one cents. But I mean, that's basically where we both called it, like saying that that's where we believe that it would be a time to like go heavily into the market. Yeah. So that's uh, you know what I do, and uh, this is only because like I've taken a long time to do this, like years, right? But I've created these wallets where you can just compound them. You don't have to put any money into it. And, and I get a pretty substantial amount of uh, coins across the whole cosmos every month um, to where I'm like, oh, I'm pretty satisfied with that amount, you know, as mm-hmm. far as like putting it into the, you know, as far as like what I want to put into it. I never sell it. I always compound it. But it helps me not have FOMO with my real money. And then with my real money, you know, you just have to manage that in a smart way. And for the and and for me, I always like to um, buy a little bit of crypto every paycheck. But when I believe the price is going to go down and I can get a better deal, especially when I already have crypto in a wallet getting compounding interest, it really like it doesn't really make much sense if I believe the price is going to go down. So what I do is is I'll send the money that I would be using or buying crypto with. Uh, to an exchange and then I'll set a 
a limit order as far as the the price that I think it's going to hit. And then if it hits that price, then, you know, I get extra add on and I can send it over and start compounding it. And I'm happy with the price that I'm getting to like dollar cost average. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So, I mean, it's just like, I can only do that because of the position I have already inside the wallet. So that's why I say it's like not for everybody, but um, you know, like if I didn't have that, I would definitely be buying to get lower, like low, these low prices. Cause I think Adam at these prices is still a deal, but mm -hmm. um, you know, with the war and everything going on, I believe that like prices, well, just because like, I don't know if you know, but like in the fed, they're talking about like going, they're, they're like seriously considering a, a hundred basis point hike, which is a 1% hike on um, federal rates. And that would be a big deal for the housing market. It's like the biggest increase. It would be the biggest increase since like the 70s mm -hmm. when Paul Volcker was in the office. You know what I mean? So and that was a pretty hard time because like they just rose rates like all the way up and they just killed the economy. So um, that could easily happen again. And like the market you know it's so weird because i don't know like how they do this but the market like prices in stuff and then that's what happens is like the more like they have a calculation based on the bond market how likely it is to go from a 75 to 100 percent or 100 basis points and they're just like going back and forth on that and that's making the the market be real volatile so mm. that's why some people that's why i say like it's always on this verge of like oh it could pump or it could dump and it's just always a percentage of which one you believe is going to happen more over the other right. and then people just play like hedging games with that like they'll do 60 percent short and 40 percent uh long and and you know that just kind of hedges the bet if they're wrong and they still have the long out there and make a little bit of money off that. And uh, it's just this big game that people are playing. And it's it's uh, pretty fascinating to learn about it because, like, I don't know one school that you could go to that would teach you all of this stuff in a non-biased way. Like, there's schools out there, but they're all, like, predatory things that, like, pay a thousand dollars and learn our techniques and then they're all bullshit or like yeah. you know what i mean yeah. uh, you're buying their products or whatever and it's like man i'm just making you rich the videos um, you wanted and, me to make for youtube <laughs> and no <laughs> I, I mean the but, like, behind me yeah oh yeah like the, uh, what are those called what is that guy uh ty lopez yeah and he got into nfts too which is kind of a bad thing but i, mean, I saw him yeah so i think you could do that because yeah you have that face where you're just like <laughs> where you're a pipe and you're just like yeah come join this journey with me i'm so rich you know what i mean and yeah like it's so so cringe but it works <laughs> yeah i think um when you're talking about the the potential price of adam man my eyes are having trouble staying open um I, i'm a big buyer like below like below seven like if it yeah. drops below seven, I'm probably gonna snag like a couple Strange Clan characters. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that's what I'm waiting for. Honestly, that's all I'm I'm watching Adam for. If it drops below that three hundred dollars per character, I'll probably snag one or so. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just, man, yeah, it's, a it's lot. been adding up, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's why I always like to say, like, if you can buy it with rewards, then that's the best way to do it. Did it hit because, nine bucks? I know it was pumping. Yeah, it did. It hit like nine oh something, and now it's yeah, it's nine oh two right now. Yeah, it's right at nine. My friend, uh, me and my friend, like say like sixteen would be a like a a logical thing for it to pump to, and then just kind of like go right back down. Yeah, hmm. but I mean, <clears throat> like going from sixteen to or even like twelve, because it's like twelve to sixteen is that range that we were saying. Mm -hmm. And um, if it were to go from that range all the way down to four dollars, that would just be devastating. Like that yeah. would be a, a, a very substantial thing happening in the market, which is like why, like, OK, I have money on that exchange. And if that order never hits, then I still have the coins in the wallet compounding. So I'm good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. That's what I, that's that's how I play it. But, um, yeah, it's it's super interesting to watch right now because this really could have bottomed already and we're just like slowly going to be inching up here, you know? Yeah. I feel like it has been weeks. like kind of like skipping along this so-called bottom, 
the floor. Yeah. Like I feel like, yeah. it, and even if it dips below it, it quickly like comes back up because people realize the value. Like I feel like Secret is the best stable coin right now. It's just pegged at a dollar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I keep seeing that one dip like to ninety four, ninety six, and I'm like, it's a good buy. A blow That's a dollar. A great buy. I feel like. Um, but again, people believe 50% down from here, like 50 cents would be what a lot of people are saying to buy that coin at. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, like if, if we go up from here, then yeah, that was like the shortest bear market I've ever been through, <laughs> which would be great. Yeah. But, uh, damn, I just have, uh, I guess PTSD from 2018, whenever it went down and it never came back up for a long yeah. time. <laughs> I mean, all we've seen so far is just a lot of crab walking. Like it's, like I said, it's kind of bottom belt. So I don't know. We'll see. Like there's so much uncertainty in the air. It's not yeah. like we're getting through any of well, this stuff. What my friend says all the time is he's like, man, the way the world is right now, legit, like everything could change in a day. Mm -hmm. Everything. Like literally they could come out and say, we fucking cured cancer. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it changes mm -hmm. everything. But, um, and I think a lot of people would love for that to happen. I know I would. I would love for something to happen that just like completely changes people's outlook on life. You know what I mean? Like, holy yeah. shit. And um, they'd never cure cancer. There's no money in that. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, that's, that's besides the point. Yeah, that's but, a different I mean, topic. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, kind of, the, kind of the topic I wanted to go into was CERN. Uh, do you know what CERN is? Mm, no so Maybe. CERN is, i can't i don't know the acronym but it's basically a particle accelerator it's this whole controversial thing that where like people are uh the scientists are um colliding two particles together yes at, like, i know what you're talking about. yep and uh they're studying like what happens and they're trying to learn about new particles and what the, the god, god matter you're on mute Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, that was weird. But um, maybe I disconnected the mic. But um, yeah, the God particle. Dude, you're fucking with my name, dude. <laughs> you, so that's funny. Because yeah, I did not write Cosmosis. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Bastard. <laughs> I was going to put Cosmonina, but I was like... <laughs> what? I don't know, dude. I just made that up right now. I wasn't going to put that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, what Tell do you me think more about, about your that? God because, particles. Like, because like people think that that is like opening up black holes to let demons come into our reality. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, we we're watching Stranger Things. I don't know if you're watching it. Basically, they're fucking. No, but I was talking to my friend about this. She was like, "You need to watch Stranger Things." That's basically what's happening in that that shit. And I was like, "Oh, that's why people are saying it." Opening like know. fucking portals and wormholes and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh, no, I believe I think... that there's different, there's parallel dimensions. And, like, my uncle, like, is really into, like, conspiracy theories and just, like, just crazy stuff. Like, he was basically talking about, like, have you ever sworn, like, you've seen somebody out of the corner of your eye or seen something out of the corner of, our, corner of your eye. And he's talking about how our eyes are getting um, adjusted to, like, seeing in other dimensions. And, like, you see parallel universes, like, out of the glimpse of your eyes. <laughs> That'd be cool, dude. Yeah. I actually thought I saw something today with some, like, I was riding my bike and the light in the street looked like some shit. And it was like, it looked like a dude walking in the street. And I turned my head and I was like, it wasn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it sounds exactly like it, dude. I was watching some reality, different reality. I don't know, man. It's, yeah. it's crazy <clears throat> as far as like, I mean, you kind of really want all that stuff to be real. Like you want aliens to be real and you want like there to be something that can cure cancer, or, like some stupid shit like that. And, um, or something beyond this when you die. <laughs> yeah. You just want to learn. Like, yeah. I don't know. I guess people are really hungry for like some new knowledge, whether it be something ancient that we like could never figure out, like how they built the pyramids or something like new and majestic, like, aliens exist and this is what they look like and this is what we learned from them and stuff yeah. something like that like people are just hungry for something new to happen you know they're done with this like soap opera <laughs> they're like next channel already I'm trying to look up um you remember 
maybe maybe this is it. I'm trying to see. Okay. Let's see what strange clan is at. 26%. Oh. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not. Look at it's that. No low. royalties. That's. I mean, it's, I didn't notice it's the bear market right now, man. Mm-hmm. People are, are like not sure that crypto is a scam or not. <laughs> and that's uh, that's where we're at. And uh, I think a lot of people have to be honest with themselves and like realize that most of the people are gone. You know what I mean? Like the people that are here are really dedicated to crypto and that's great. I love it. I'm all here for it. But I think you also have to realize that and set proper expectations that, yeah, we're going to slow down here and yeah. it's, it's not going to be fun. But, um, you know, I think, I think just staying involved and, um, you know, staying, um, staying positive is, is uh, the way to go. <laughs> long term i mean i think it's all going to come back and we'll be better than ever before but i think also that adam and cosmos might prove to be some of the best assets to hold during a bear market uh especially because all the builders are realizing that going over to cosmos is like the way to go so cosmos might actually be one of the best things to hold during this bear market mm -hmm. um and, and i'm hoping to see that play out that would be great but overall like long term i'm not worried at all like i'm i'm actually happy like you said to to pick up some coins at a cheaper price um put those in staking and and get some of that sweet sweet 19 percent on cosmos which True. is awesome so it's like just stacking up my bags like super fast and um that's what i like about this this time it just sucks because i like and i feel bad because i think we talked about it before like just for everybody building in the in the cosmos like they have to see all of their hard work to get devalued so much like 90 percent mm -hmm. and it's hard to see that happen to other people because for me i just go back to web 2 and say well do you want fries with that you know what i mean and uh you know it's like that's that's like it, it feels bad because i just have to go back to work and then they they are still at work but they're they're their work is devalued and yeah. I think that sucks because yeah. for me, like it's like my work gets more valued because my dollars buy more coins now. So I don't know. It sucks. Like I hate web two and I wish I could move over to web three, but then th that's something that's really um, like weighs heavy on my mind that that could happen. And then in fact it did, you know? So, and then it's like, it, it happens every it happens two or three times every two, uh, you know, every other year. So it's like, oh, it's rough. Yeah. I mean, hopefully we'll start to catch some trends and stuff like that. But I don't know. It's always hard to. But I was looking at Orbital Apes. I'm looking at, like, that's a good pulse of the market. Like, they're, they're getting close. I mean, that number is creeping. It's really yeah. come to a standstill. It's, it's still moving, but it's really slowing down. I probably could have minted another 10 or 15 in the time when I stopped till now because i don't know i've just been using those rewards since man fmos has just been so juicy with all of its rewards and just converting it to other stuff the rewards have been pretty crazy honestly and they're still pretty high but they're going down yeah so that's one bad thing about it <laughs> what else did i want to look at i just wait a couple like i wait about a week claim the rewards and uh, I had been dumping them into USDC, but Evmos was kind of pumping. It was almost at three bucks, and now it kind of fell back to two dollars, two dollars and ten cents right now. And um, I don't know. My friend called like thirty cents for Evmos, but it's been a weird, weird. God damn, that's claim. low. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was <laughs> just a low, like bare estimate. But um, like he still thinks that long term because uh you know how it happens like the airdrop comes out and the coin shoots up kind of stays there a little bit and then it drops like tremendously mm -hmm. and everybody's like wow i should have sold and um i think he expects that to happen to evmos as well it Dude, was I'm... nice in this bear market though yeah it's been nice honestly some of those rewards are how i got my uh my wrecked wolves oh yeah nice. like i'm i'm in love with these guys Oh yeah, what's the floor on those? 
fun little collection. I think it's like 0.15 ETH. 0.18. Nice. Yeah. 0.18. That's not bad. This one, dude, I actually like this one a lot. I was thinking about scooping them up. You, um, what, what do you like about that community? Dude. Well, I'm not sure how involved you are in discords. You know, I'm like a, a hardcore, like, Degen and discords and obviously community mm-hmm. manager so i know um what it takes to have a a thriving community i guess you would say um and man that that community is top notch like they they all have their own little roles within the community and they all like hold themselves accountable to do it well like they all believe in the project so much that it just like lifts the shit out of the community this is obviously one of the luna transplants so yeah, yeah. they could have just rolled over and just died <laughs> but they're still thriving and then they're going to come out with their trippy wolves soon after this. So, um, that one's going to be on polygon and, um, their whole ethos is going to be like, a a cross chain kind of NFT collection. So, um, they could still have a collection that comes back to cosmos. I'm trying to convince them to have one on secret secret needs some, some breath of life with some good NFT collections, but stargaze yeah. also makes sense too. stargaze is popping, but I just love how secret has uh, the private metadata that you could play with. Yeah, their their vibe reminds me of Stargaze, though. I mean, yeah. just personally. But, yeah. But um, you know, that's cool. I like them. Yeah, they're cool. How many are there? Um, like, a, I guess one point eight. Hmm. Let me see. Cool. I probably left the page, didn't I? Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> I always love like where's Waldo type things. Looking through all those different people. Yeah, dude. It's funny because it's the background of my computer right now. <laughs> <laughs> just like nice. I just like every now and then I'll just like minimize everything and just see what somebody's doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Start- yeah. Start thinking about what their day's like. Yeah, <laughs> What's that story? I would do the same thing, dude. Yeah. Like, look at this guy. He's all pissed off. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I've personally, like, chatted with and talked to these three guys right here. I haven't uh-huh. had the pleasure of meeting him. But, man, these three um, are first-class people. Um, so, yeah, it's if you're looking at joining a community um, and you, you want a good collection, good art, and, I mean, you could just jump in the Wreck Wolf of Discord and you'll see right away. Yeah. Dope. Shout out to Wreck Wolf. What else do we got going on? Kilroy. That was like a. Oh, we, yeah. You were like, what the hell's going on with Secret, man? I'm like, what are you talking about? I was like, Kilroy, baby. Everybody and their mama was <laughs> getting some some Roy's. How much was it? Um, How much was it? Let me see. Let me go to Mint real quick. 180 secret, so about 175 bucks, depending on what secret is. Um, the cool thing about it, oh god, I gotta sign. Do you know how many were minted? No, I mean I wouldn't. Um, damn, hold on, let me see if I could unplug my or disconnect some stuff so I could unplug my. You think five thousand at least? That's nine hundred thousand secret. God dang! A thousand. If uh, they minted five thousand, it would be nine hundred thousand secret. Oh yeah, I think there's a thousand of them. Oh, a thousand. Yeah. So divide that by five. So about one hundred eighty thousand secret. I'm trying. That's to, crazy. I'm trying to pop That's in here real quick so you could see like what's in the private metadata. Um, you're more than welcome to tell a story real quick or something. I'm trying to. My thousand clicks on Ledger. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, how many um, coins were bought, you know? 180,000. And then that makes the price pump. Like, so I don't know. It was crazy wonder... being in those spaces because the people who were coming up to talk were like just Kevin Smith fans in general. Like, it's crazy his following. And you saw it too at the, uh, the yeah, showing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, there's some people, people that really love that guy. They were like, you know, this girl got up there and she was like, yeah, I've seen everything you've been in and blah, 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 blah. And he was like, well, okay, wow. Well. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, it was it was pretty interesting. Well, here's Mike Kilroy, a uh, pimple face punk guy with his lightsaber. So yeah, like you can <laughs> read the script. Um Yeah, you could just go through the different script for the show. So that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, what else is in here? That's the script for the movie? Yeah. Huh. You can watch a teaser. Can you hear the sound? Mm-hmm. Yeah. the whole movie Dang. obviously we won't sit here and watch the whole movie but yeah oh these boys don't speak english or will we no, i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's, that's uh cool. seems to be that's, going uh, one of the first uh you know uses or whatever interesting uses of nfts yeah as far as like unlocking content that nobody else can unlock exactly pretty cool All right. i really like that because i mean that's basically that's that's one big use case that I saw for NFTs like right off the bat was um, an easier way to distribute and um, you know distribute ownership of something. Yeah, and then uh, viral we dropped our one of one um, artisan choice where the um, artist Illicoy we sent him a pattern and basically he destructed a destructed um, like. Yeah, deconstructed a, a Patagonia kind of like a like a hiking shirt with a pocket, and so the top of the hat's made out of a Patagonia shirt. Like, and oh, with I the, see. Yeah, and he put the little stash pocket up there so you could put your <laughs> yeah, that's cool. your wallet or your your goods, and then it's got the <laughs> I'm sure you've seen the redacted bandana um, headband. Put that pattern underneath it. So yeah, that's very cool. I like it a lot. It looks like the I bid is up to six hundred bucks. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. So they're bidding on the NFT and then they'd have to burn it, right? To like get the real thing? Yeah, or convert it. I think I got in trouble for calling it burning. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't get in trouble, but yeah. What's you got a... your ass chewed out? <laughs> yeah, I got fired. That's funny. I, I they're swear. not burning it. Oh, oh yeah, man. you want to talk? You know what? Let's We'll, we'll end on who... who Hua Hua, Wawa. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, I, was, I said ahead. that, and then I saw it on Twitter, but then I looked it up, and I don't see a proposal out there. So I don't know exactly what they're talking about, but something about how Wawa wants to burn tokens. And I guess it's just like up for a debate right now. Yeah. But the number they had floated was 40 billion tokens. I don't even remember what the supply is, but I know it's something crazy. So 40, 40 billion. billion. I was like, not, you probably have 40 be billion. <laughs> nowhere close that's actually like substantial amount of money i feel like, like it definitely was bucks. at the <laughs> it definitely was at the top but i mean it's still probably a lot of money i don't know where the tokens come from though but i mean maybe something will revive that chain i don't know let's Dude, see i can't believe stargaze is allowing this kind of stuff like this is freaking like after going through what I went through with the redacted club, like this has got that shit written all over it. Yeah, whenever uh, DCMA, like I feel like they're rugs. You know what I mean? Like they're yeah. intentionally trying to just capitalize get, on an image. Yeah. Well, they're intentionally trying to get people in there so that, like, if it gets called off by DCMA, they're just like, oh well, you know, whatever. We got the money, you know. <laughs> so. It's like, it's like, oh, they forced us to rug. You know what I mean? Yeah. We didn't rug. It's kind of a dick thing. But I don't know. Like, yeah. Like, how do they get away with that? Did any of them mint? 
No, they're uh, it's a uh, comes it starts in six days. Oh. I don't know about that. I don't know how they can just like you said. How does Stargaze allow that kind of thing? Mm, yep. It's kind of concerning. There was actually one on here that I was looking at that I was kind of well, intrigued. Well, I remember that Stargaze wanted to be permissionless after a while. They were just like, I remember they were like, oh, yeah, well, at first we're going to like put out the ones that we want so that hmm. we know that there's no rugs. And then they said, I think that they eventually wanted to be like permissionless. I'm going to mint one of these right now. Live. Coming to you live. A Stargaze crook. Let me just type in my long ass password. God, I miss minting on my laptop. Who uses a ledger? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. What a simpleton. You should always use protection, kids. <laughs> Especially since things have been outlawed. <laughs> All right, we're minting. Let's see what we got. I'm instantly regretting it. <laughs> That's what you got? Yeah. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that beak. That yeah. looks sick, dude. Honestly, it looks really cool. I really like it. It looks like there's this um, Number uh, game that I played with my friends uh, and her kids. Like, it was called Bad Dream Fever. And it looks kind of like, like it had really dark shit like that. Like, and it looked really cool. Oh shit! I'm just blasting my star stars wallet. Oh well. Everybody can see how much of a baller you are. I was gonna pull up the um. Where are they at? <laughs> star chodes. Where the hell? there they are? There's one. Where's the other one? Oh yeah, you got an aquanaut. Yeah, I they're need to cute. One right? of those. They're yeah. cute. Where do you mint one of those? Huh? Where do you mint one of those? How much are they? Let me look. Why do I only got one? I'm supposed to have two. Hmm. I'll figure that out in a bit. I'll go down a little bit. Oh, oh. never mind. Oh, look. Something just loaded. You see everything shift? Well, it's still not there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's what loaded. What the hell, man? Somebody retail. stole it from you. Seems that way. Look, I wanted to see that. I'll go down. Oh, okay. That looks cool. The Starbot. Oh, that one? Yeah, he's got a halo. Looks like really saturated. Because I had this one. You sure you had another one, buddy? Yeah, NFT. dude. Prove ownership, dude. Not your keys, not your NFT. <laughs> I swear I had another one. Unless I sent it to... No, I didn't send it to another wallet. MB, though, took it. <laughs> wow. MB and and they wouldn't be separated. Yeah. That's weird. Like, there's your start. Let me try something real quick. And I kind of... I'm really digging that one. What? The Stargaze Crook. That you oh, yeah. Got. I really am. Did you see that uh, the Neta NFTs went to Loop Finance instead of Passage? Huh. Yeah, I thought that was pretty Look, interesting. There's my other one right there. That's weird, Whoa. right? Why is it in Hubble? Yeah, that's weird. Oh, you have it know. connected? That's yeah. weird. Yeah, sometimes Stargaze uh, website is uh, trash. <laughs> yeah, didn't they just push like some sort of update too? Uh, I don't know. Dude, those crooks are cheap, dude. I might just mint one. Like, I almost get 350 every day. Really? Yeah. Oh. Nah, I probably won't get another one. Oh, the um, the Aquanauts are on the um, the collection, the all page. Let me see how they're doing. 19%. Yeah, was... Oh, okay. How much are they? 5,400. Dang, they're kind of expensive, dude. Yeah. It's for a good cause. 
What else was I gonna? Oh, you know what I thought was trash, dude. Um, and it's just a beta, but phew, it's still pretty bad. What is the um the Juno Marketplace that's live right now? Hopper. What? Uh, I've never even seen that. Dude, it's it's not good. It's not good. I haven't been paying attention to Juno, but yeah, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> I have not seen that. Hoppers. Like, this doesn't look like a marketplace. Yeah, it looks like a... Like, look how cheap that looks. Oh, dude. That's where it's at. How do I admit? <laughs> what? I mean, that's, that's all you need, dude. 90s. Oh, God, it looks, it looks... Like, this is going back to 90s. Web, this, yeah, this is like I just developed this in Web 2.0. Yeah, this is perfect. This is all you need, but you need a dark mode. Where's the dark mode? Yeah, this is perfect, dude. Retro. Maybe those colors are just, they don't go like that green. I think it looks like a Voyager website, like like a, like a financial website, like, like AT&T. Not, not AT&T because they're all blue and stuff, but I don't know. Mm, I don't like it. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Hoppers. I don't like it. Hey, you you can you can do you. I can say I love it. I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's pretty bad. They just need a dark mode. Everything will be fine after that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I don't know if dark mode could save that. Sorry, yeah, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Hoppers. Get some better designers. Yeah. We'll be You're probably extremely good at building. Hire me, and I'll tell you what's good and bad. Yeah. And then I'm sure they you probably... Can build it. You know it would be a fun social experiment? Pull up Twitter and type in hoppers and see what people are saying about it. They probably love it, you know? Oh, my God. We love you. I know that the Juno... Um, the whole seven people that used it, right? <laughs> the Juno punks minted out because they were giving them away for free. Yeah, I saw that. Hmm. If you're looking, share your screen so we can look with you. I don't even, I can't even find Hopper's, uh, you know, Twitter profile. You know what I mean? Ow. Ow. But yeah. Maybe it's Hopers. Yeah, it's Hopers. Is that the Hope Marketplace? Yeah. Oh. That's cool that they even made one because it was like up in the air whether or not they were like a scam. I mean, by looking at that site, I think it's still up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really the Hope NFT one? The Hope yeah. Dow or whatever? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Powered by Hope Token. At least they built something. Yeah, I mean they built something. Um, I would say that. Uh, I mean, like, other people like just make NFTs and they don't do shit, or they make coins and they don't do shit. At least they did something. Yeah, and I mean you can always improve a design, right? Good design can always get better. But yeah, that's I mean fair. that's cool. I'm happy for them. Great job, Hope. That makes that gives me hope. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> course i would say that i'm not sponsored by hope and this is not financial advice but i'm pretty bullish on hope <laughs> <laughs> i think you no we don't want to hear any more of that <laughs> i just <laughs> I just, just cool you yeah. censorship yeah this is i censorship. have the power that's funny right, uh, i mean yeah. We got anything else to talk about? I know we we just said this was going to be just like a kickback episode. We more so more or less just came on here just in case people like to have something to listen to on their their drive or just want to kick it with us a little bit. Um cuz I could have we probably could have easily just skipped this week, but we got this is for the people. Yeah, we'll we'll uh we'll come up with something as long as Cosmos does something. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like everybody's just building right now. I mean, that's fair. We're just waiting. 
to see if the price uh, rebounds here or not. Um, I'm, I'm erring on the side of not, but we could always get a miracle, you know? Give you some ice chewing sound effects. Oh, yeah, we love that. Gave me chills down my spine. Make sure to, to get your sunlight. I know it's hot out there. My, uh, my fucking apartment is 80 degrees right now because I think we talked about this before. My, my AC is just a small little box. And it just, whenever these heat waves come and it goes above 100, 110, it starts struggle busting yeah. real hard. And uh, this year is brutal for this summer in Texas. And uh, yeah, my AC is not doing too well. Yeah, my mom's, um, I don't know if she had to actually, well, she didn't do it, but we had to go outside and clean the actual outdoor unit because it was like so caked with dust, like air couldn't flow well. Yeah. And like her house was like 90 degrees for two days. And I was like, I went over there and I checked so the temperature. Bad. Yeah. And I was like, your outdoor unit is just like crap. It's, it's covered in dirt and stuff. You need to clean it out. Yeah. And then uh, her husband cleaned it out and. I was thinking it was Freon, but it's cooling a lot more. I think she said it's about 78, 80 degrees, like you said, but it's underpowered for a two-story house. Yeah, like mine, it uh, during the day after 4 p.m., you, you got to put it at 80 or else it'll just be on constantly. And I've learned that if you, like, you can leave it on all day and it'll struggle all day. Mm -hmm. But if you, like, <laughs> let it rest, then at night it'll just, like, kick in real powerful. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, um yeah, it sucks because it's like you want to be like you're just like fuck. It's during the day, and you want to be cold, but it's like nah, you want to be cold at night <laughs> so that you stay asleep. So yeah, um, definitely some interesting choices you're having to make over here in Texas. It yeah, sucks. And 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 you have so then like during the day you want to keep your your shit cold, and then you get all these emails from CPS saying at stage level yellow like <laughs> you need to conserve energy or else you're a bad citizen and um i know california has rolling blackouts i don't even know how that could work here in texas because like i feel like elderly people would die left and right and yeah. um i don't know how that would work because it's so damn hot you need ac but it's i know what it is dude it's these damn electrical vehicles dude like they they say oh yeah it's not going to affect anything but you're adding so much load to these existing lines that just can't take it and um we're seeing no <laughs> i don't think that's it no nah, for real like dude my so, electric bill has so barely moved with me charging my ev vehicle but you have to times that by how many imagine if every house had that it would it would melt the lines that we have now they ha they would have They're to completely tonight, rebuild though. the structure you would have to completely rebuild the infrastructure to um, accommodate for that much power, dude. There's They're not charging no their cars in the heat of the day. They're all at work. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's. Uh, but imagine, like... And so what? <laughs> imagine, like, it's almost like adding an extra um, air conditioner to your house with how much it needs. Mm -hmm. Especially these, like, trucks and stuff. I'm gonna yank you. And then imagine, hmm. imagine like, a fleet of... Um, of them charging overnight like the 18 wheelers it would just be ridiculous look at how much power a uh, a charging station takes and then you'll understand like a charging station with four chargers takes like the same electricity as like a we're gonna settle this neighbor. right now we're gonna do the documentation we got 10 minutes support your case i mean it's just like how many how much a, a power station is gonna take a power, uh, like a charging station with like superchargers or whatever, um, they take the same amount of electricity as a whole neighborhood. So when you add that to like, imagine adding that many neighborhoods that quickly, you would have, the infrastructure would have to keep up. It's just mathematics, dude. Like, like they rated those lines for a certain amount of power. And when you're adding to just like, think about how much that adds, like, even cell phones probably significantly changed how much energy is needed across those lines at any given time. And I'm like, they're just stressed, especially because everybody's working from home. They're using their AC all day. Like whenever they, um, 
I don't, I don't know how many people work from home because like after the pandemic, like it just started like it was more people, but then a lot of them went back to work. But dude, imagine every single car. Like the the reason the energy grid works right now is because you can offload so much work that we do as like a, a species on gasoline and diesel gasoline and um, natural gas. So, I mean, you, if everybody had an um, electric car, it, there's no way it would work right now. And then um, like if you, anybody that owns an electric car that like, tries to drive it like a gasoline powered one will realize really quickly that they have to like plan their routes um around these where where the chargers are and then you also have to plan your day around like waiting for a charger if you actually need one because you have to wait a really long time and then there's all kinds of problems like there's like three different types of chargers and then like some of them, when you get up there, it's like, oh, well, that one doesn't work. <laughs> Only this type works. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, oh, my God. That's fair. It is so, interesting, though, the technology that they're coming out with, like these batteries that they have in the pipeline, the, they're not out yet, but they're they're being developed and they're being used and tested where they're saying that you can get like, I don't know, a 75 to 80% charge on your battery in the same amount of time it would take you to like fill up getting gas. Like the amount of battery power that's coming out soon is freaking nuts. I definitely believe that batteries can improve. There was, um, did we ever talk about the stable coin that's, uh, they want it to be backed by electricity? Like you can trade the stable coin for one kilowatt hour of energy at any given time? Mm, I don't think so. <clears throat> so this was on coin bureau and this, this research paper actually came out of like the, um, the lab that the United States funds for like research pertaining to national security and like nuclear weapons and stuff like that. And, um, so for some reason they, they, uh, came out with a research paper detailing how a stable coin backed by electricity could work. And basically, it evolves like um, it involves like some things that we don't have invented today, but they say are theoretically possible. Mm -hmm. They say it's theoretically possible for everybody to have like a device that sucks energy from the world around them, and like, mm. and it's because it has to do with entropy. They say that like all energy can be expressed as in as entropy and that um, basically you can, I can send energy to you. It can be expressed as data basically, and that hmm. it can be converted using reverse computing so that basically I can suck energy out of the air, send it to you and you can convert that energy using reverse computing because a reverse computer can reverse all computational um, like things. <laughs> so since you can express energy or convert energy into data, you can convert data back into energy using one of these reverse computers. And I think it's pretty interesting. Um, it kind of reminds me of a few Black Mirror episodes that I've seen, mm -hmm. but um, it would be an interesting thing if that actually became because they say it's possible but it's just not yet invented on how it all works you know so <laughs> that's awesome supreme chapstick baby is it fake <laughs> no supreme like everything i have supreme is probably fake supreme <laughs> oh shit you had to bust out too because I got it from uh, I got it from this smoke shop. It's probably a fake, right? Um, um, maybe. How would you know it's real? I mean, the chapstick I got from Supreme.com, so that's about as real as it gets. How much and then was the it other like thing, no, it was like tw like nine dollars for a three pack. Not bad. <laughs> I guess. That shipped. <laughs> shipped from California. Those California tax. California's a bitch. 
Unless you're one of our listeners. I hope. I Unless hope that, you hate uh, California too. I, ha- I hope that Gavin Newsom doesn't run for president. But then again, I kind of hope he does because everybody hates him. You know? <laughs> like California actually likes him. But I don't think he can run for president if Biden is uh, going to stay. How does, how does that work? If he know. says he wants to stay, nobody can oppose him as a Democrat. Like the Democrats will like step off and be like, I respect you as a fucker. Like, so what if he <laughs> steps down and Kamala runs? Mm. Is all game, is it all like, is it all fair game after that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I still just can't get over the fact that we're so like narrow minded that we think that we only have two options being Republican and Democrat. Like they've brainwashed us to think that you're either red or blue. And you can't like each other. There is no ma- there's no middle ground. There's no gray area. You throw well, you rocks. You know why? Yeah, you divide and conquer. Keep us fighting. Yeah. It's like I don't know. That's that's a whole that's a whole separate topic. But I hate it. Yeah, I hate I hate the the if you're not red, you're blue. And and like if you're against one, then they say, well, then you're just for the other one. Then and it's like. No, not necessarily. I hate the one that is in power now, though, because it's like they always say that they want to help, but then they don't. It's like an abusive relationship, dude. It's like, oh, I love you, baby, and I fucking hit you because you're fucking beautiful. (laughs) And it's like, what the fuck? And then, you know, you talk to one of them and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, he hit me, but I deserved it. Yeah. It's like. What? And it's Nobody like, well, loves me as much he, as they do. They do because like, they love well, me. He, he tried to get uh, college tuition canceled. He tried. And it's like, wait, did you watch? Because he didn't try at all. <laughs> he just said, like, and it's so funny because we have all the videos of like Obama <laughs> saying one thing and then saying another thing after he's president. We have Biden doing it. We have Hillary doing it. We have everybody doing it on camera. But it's like, no, this next one is going to be better. And it's like, <laughs> you never learned your lesson, do you? It's, it's the same joke. thing with dating and abusive relationships, dude. Like, the women always go back for more. And that's basically America to the Democratic and the Republican Party. They're always going to go back. And I feel like, you know, it's been so polarized that, yeah, we're probably going to try the red flavored Kool Aid again after the 2024 and it's like you know what we're just over here like putting all of our money in places where it'll pop off if that happens you know what i mean so it's like we just went out (laughs) we just went out of this and we all know it's with money so that's why that's why we're here we're just trying to park our money where the next generation is going to get screwed and it seems like it's going to be online you know what i mean next generation is just going to get dumped on just like we did with facebook and Netflix and all that, you know what I mean? So boomers just dumping on us right now. And it's like, well, it's your turn. And it's funny because when people at the top of the market, like you ask them, you're like, how can you live with yourself knowing that all of these people had to lose money for you to gain money? And they say, well, then they just paid for their education. And that's the market giving them education on how it all works. And that's basically what they say and how they rationalize it. I promise you. It's crazy. So like, Never be scared to take profits because of what the market's going to think of you. Because the market doesn't give a shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it just, it just does suck because I know how it feels like being in a project and being like, oh, wow, it just went up 10 X and I don't want to sell it because then that means like I'm not associated with the project anymore. And it's like, no, it's not how it works. You know what I mean? You got to remove your emotion and just sell that shit. And as much as it sucks, like, you got to be a scumbag it, you, or just ask yourself why you're here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you're not a scumbag, then you're going to get dumped on. And that's how it's going to go. And it's like, <clears throat> if you're patient enough, you'll always win. But it's hard being patient for a lot of people. So you just yeah. got to know yourself. And if you don't know yourself, you're going to find yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which is cool. And I think that's a fair thing to pay for, honestly, to help yourself as a person. If you have to lose a bunch of money for that to happen, hey, like, it just helps, you know? Yeah. Well, (laughs) all right, Clay. 
I can't believe we were able to squeeze out 55 minutes <laughs> of just yeah. back and forth. It's because of CERN. Yep, CERNA. Sarah. CERN. CERN. Man, I'm tired. All right, bro. You got any shout outs? Shout out to. Um, fuck. Shout out to. Uh, shout out to Jaquan. <laughs> he uh he he kind of did that no snapshot and then went back into his hole so there was actually a, a wallet that came out that said put your seed phrase in here to check your no airdrop i would highly um advise against fuck? that because like how do they know what the no airdrop is going to be like i don't know who they are so yeah don't don't trust that but yeah mm. so we'll see how that goes don't trust anything that asks for your your seed phrase unless it's you trying to get yeah. your your wallet back, recover your wallet. Yeah, be careful with that shit. But yeah, shout out to it was so funny when Department seventy seven shouted out Jake Quad or uh, Doe Doe Quad. Quad. I was like, yeah, <laughs> oh, that was awkward. But I mean, he, he wasn't it doing it in a good way. Yeah, I know. At least he got it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm happy. It wasn't awkward. Go for it, dude. This is your time. <laughs> that was funny. Who are you shouting out? I'm going to shout out the listener. We appreciate y'all. We're seeing the numbers going up. It's exciting. Um, it's glad to see that um, we're putting out some sort of content that's halfway decent, worth listening to. So. Uh, we appreciate that, and always, if you have any suggestions or comments, concerns, whatever it be, you know how or to reach us. if you just us. want to come on the show. Yeah, if you want to call, come on the show, let us know. Also, too, let we don't up. say this enough. Give this a thumbs up. If you're watching, if you made it this far, you, you got to smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future notifications of our content. <laughs> Ding! Ding! Uh, yeah, Jim man. He's gonna add that in on the in the back end. Yeah, one of these days, it'll probably just be a button I'll click later on in the future. But yeah, all right, bro. I'm gonna catch some Z's, and I hope everybody has a good weekend. I'll probably put this out on Friday. So yeah, it's good talking to you, man. Have a good day. You have too, a good bro. day, everybody. Later. <laughs>